Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a calculator in Java. So the first thing you want to do is make, of course, a project and a class file. So in your class file, you're going to want to import uh, java.util.scanner. That way we can get user input. We can't make a calculator without that. Don't, don't use parentheses. Alright, so let's make our main method first. So public static void main string arguments. God, I cannot spell today. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we want to prompt them for their calculations. So we're going to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we're going to want to do system dot print line, and then say one for addition. Two for subtraction. Three for multiplication. And four for division. All right. So now we want to have them input a variable. So let's make an integer op for operation. We'll set that equal to zero. All right, so we'll make a. Right, gotta put that in there. All right, so. Um, well, actually, we gotta make a scanner as well. So let's do scanner. Scan. Equals new scanner. Now make sure you put system dot in. To know that you're inputting from the, the console down here. All right. So now let's make them input our variable. So op equals scan dot next int. All right. Let's see. Oh yes, got to make these uh, both of these variables static. That's just a little housekeeping thing. Now we're gonna make a do while loop. So that way, if they enter anything above or under one and above four, that it makes them do it again because we don't want them to be able to do that. All right. So while op is less than one and two ampersands for another one. So or while op is greater than four. All right. Now let's make a bunch of if statements. So if op equals equals one if op equals equals two, if op equals equals three, and if op equals equals four. All right, so let's make um, three new variables here. Let's make them all doubles, so that way we can do uh, decimals, because that would be a problem. So double, uh, what do you want to call it? We'll call it num1 for number one. Double num2 and double answer. All right, now we're going to have them input their first number. So system.out.println, input your first number. And then we do num1 equals scan dot next int. Yep, we gotta make them static again. Keep forgetting about that. Just remember to do that. Do that with all your variables right now. I'll do it later. For now, um, input your second number. <clears throat> Alright, so now we need another input. So num2 equals scan dot next int. You know what? Actually, let's make this next double because we can input doubles. All right. And then again, make it static. I'll just make this static right now. Yeah, static. There we go. All right. Um let's just copy and paste this cuz we're lazy. 
and then we'll just change the operation every single time. So for this one we do answer equals num1 plus num2. Easy as that. So now we gotta print out print line answer. Alright. Now for subtraction answer equals num1 minus num2 system.out.println yeah. print line answer and for multiplication num1 or actually answer equals num1 times num2 system that print line Okay, so now I'm going to explain why we uh, why we made doubles because when you divide, if you had five divided by two, it would say three if we didn't use a double because it automatically rounds to the closest number. So you have to use doubles because they can hold um, they can hold decimals, which integers can't because if you know your Types of numbers, integers are negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. It's not decimals, those are rational numbers. And irrational numbers, but that's like pi and other things. Alright, so this will allow us to do that stuff. Now, we're going to make another do while loop because we're going to make a little loop so it just goes again. Like you can, they, it asks the user if they want to go again. So we'll make a new, we'll make a string, string again. Um, and then let's ask them again, yes or no. Well, so again, yeah, inside, again y slash n oops forgot the end quotation then we'll have a scan or actually again equals scan dot next line because that's for strings so do while scan dot equals ignore case why whatever we're just not gonna do this ignore case because there you go why I swear ignore case should work uh, whatever screw it so just make sure you enter capital Y. Here is our program. So let's do addition first. Input your first number, twelve, two, four, six. Yay, Y. Now if we do, if we do Y. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know what? Scan dot next. Okay, it terminated on us. Two, four. You know what? Whatever. I haven't done this in a while, so um, I'll make another tutorial later. This code on how to um, make another, make it so it loops, but I have to get into that because I forgot how to do it. <laughs> I should know how to do it, but I forgot. Well. Thanks for watching the tutorial, and make sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.